हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द स्ट्रक्चरल जियोलॉजी एम सी क्यूज फॉर वेरियस जियोलॉजिकल एग्जाम्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन अस ऑन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो दैट एवरी न्यू नोटिफिकेशन विल बी प्रोवाइडेड एंड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ कंटेंट वॉट एवर इज नीडेड विल बी प्रोवाइडेड देयर सो हियर अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज sedimentary structure are not useful in and your options are interpreting paleocurrent direction so as far as the first option is concerned we can use sedimentary structures for the paleocurrent direction as you know that a structure known as fluid cast it looks something like this here you have the two sides one is gentler a steeper side another one is the gentler side so here our paleo current direction will be something like this now the second option is the establishing of a stratigraphic sequence we can also use the sedimentary structures for the stratigraphic sequence as we know that there are some structures which are found below the rock layer or we can say at the bottom of any rock and some structures are which characteristics or which shows the upper layer of any rock so we can use that this bottom surface and upper surface for the stratigraphic sequence now the third option is understanding environment of rock deposition yes we can also use sedimentary structures for the environment of rock deposition as there are some structures which are formed in the high energy environment and some structures which are formed low energy environment and we also have some structures which shows the different uh, wave action like uh, if we have the symmetrical ripples they shows the oscillatory motion of waves so we can use them for the environment of rock, rock deposition but we can't use them for the determination of age of formation so here fourth option will be our right answer now next question is a 4 cm long line in a map of 1 is to 1 lakh scale now what will be the length of that line that same line on the same area map but the scale is now 1 is to 25000 so if you calculate the distance on the ground of this line then it will be 4 into 1 lakh according to the scale now this much distance now you have to convert it for the scale of 1 is to 25000 so simply you will divide it by 25000 and you will get the right answer that is 16 cm so here first option will be our right answer now the next question is a chevron fold is found in which a chevron fold looks something like this in which the crest area is pointed so here in the option number 3 it is said that the crest area is pointed while other options are crest is rounded no it is not rounded the axis and crest do not coincide this is also wrong and hinge line is always plunging so hinge line can be plunge it can be horizontal it can be vertical so this is also not true only true is the option number 3 and hence third option will be our right answer now next question is the reverse fault are responsible for so you know that there are mainly three type of three type of faults one is normal fault other one is reverse fault and finally the third one is strike slip fault and you know that the strike slip fault will neither sort the strata nor the lengthening of strata but if you will look about the normal fault let us see that this is a block and it is going under the normal faulting so it will increase the length something like this so length is increased but height is decreased in the case of normal fault but if you will look in the reverse fault the same block will have thickening of the earth crust the thickness will increase and the length will decrease it will sort the length so now you can understand that a reverse fault responsible for the shortening of strata 
सो हियर सेकेंड ऑप्शन विल बी अवर राइट आंसर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ हैव ऑफ अ फॉल्ट इज जीरो देन वट विल बी द नेम ऑफ दैट फॉल्ट नाउ यू नोज दैट देर आर टू कंपोनेंट्स फर्स्ट वन इज हैव दैट इज हॉरिजोंटल मूवमेंट एंड अनदर वन इज थ्रो दैट इज वर्टिकल मूवमेंट ओके सो इफ यू हैव टू जीरो फॉर द हैव मीन्स यू हैव ओनली द वर्टिकल मूवमेंट देन योर फॉल्ट विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज द कंडीशन ऑफ योर फॉल्टिंग वेयर फॉल्ट प्लेन इज दिस ओके एंड द मूवमेंट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस ब्लॉक इज गोइंग डाउनवर्ड एंड दिस ब्लॉक इज गोइंग अपवर्ड सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट देर इज ओनली द वर्टिकल मूवमेंट यानी दैट मीन्स हैव इज जीरो एंड दिस इज नॉन एज वर्टिकल फॉल्ट बिकॉज फॉल्ट प्लेन इज वर्टिकल दैट्स वाई हेयर फोर्थ ऑप्शन विल बी योर राइट आंसर नो यू हैव टू टेल मी वॉट विल बी द नेम ऑफ दैट फॉल्ट वेयर द टी टी स्टैंड फॉर थ्रो वेयर थ्रो इज जीरो यानी द फॉल्ट वेयर ओनली हैव ओनली हॉरिजेंटल मूवमेंट इज देयर वट विल बी द नेम राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन एन आइसो क्लाइनल फोल्ड बोथ लिम्स आर and here you have the three options now let me draw one isoclinal fold isoclinal fold looks something like this where the interlimb angle is zero okay so now if you don't know about the interlimb angle you can see that uh, suppose that this is a fault and if we draw the lines along the limbs then it will make an angle which is known as ila or interlimb angle now in the case of isoclinal fold interlimb angle is zero so you can draw an isoclinal fold like this you can also draw an isoclinal fold like this you can also draw isoclinal fold like this and you can also draw an isoclinal fold like this so now you can see that in each and every isoclinal fold limbs are dipping in the same direction in this case they are in this direction in this case the limbs are dipping in this direction so we can use the statement one that dips at equal angle in the same direction statement b is saying that dip at equal angle in opposite direction this is wrong and are nearly horizontal this is also wrong they can be horizontal in some cases but they are in same direction in always in each and every case so here finally first option will be our right answer so it's all about for today in the next video we will see some next some next structural geology questions thank you